Hello there, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. What we have here is a pop-up drain plug that is getting stuck. It's supposed to pop up and down like this, but sometimes it'll stick and it won't re release and come back up. I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem. So I showed you the pop-up drain plug with the cap on it. So you just turn this off and this is what we have. And this is supposed to work like this. So the first thing you wanna do is pop off this clip here. It's a ring clip and we're going to pop this off. Now you can see there is junk that is getting all caught up in here and plugging this up, you know, soap and residue. So we're going to clean this up as well. So you can see there is a screw in this mechanism. There's a groove here. So we have to back this out. We have to back this screw out. We're going to set the screw aside. Be very careful because it's tiny. And over here we have a piece of metal that sits in a groove right here as well. So what we're going to do is we have to remove this. So you grab it, it's going to let go. Now you can release this and this will come apart. And I'll show you about this in a minute. There's a spring. So on this little piece of metal here, there's a long point here and there's a short point. We have to remember that the short part goes on in the inside and the long part stays on the outside. That hooks into here. There's a hole in here. You can see, the, see there's a hole that it fits into. I'm gonna clean this up and I'll show you better. So we'll just take a piece of paper towel and we'll clean this little rod up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of sandpaper. This is very fine sandpaper. And we're going to roll it up so it fits in that tube. So we're going to fit it in there. And we're just going to spin it around there. Inside. And, and it'll sand off any loose stuff that's in there. See that? So we're good there. Also at this end you'll see some goop in here too. We just want to make sure that gets all cleaned up. Right in here. You can take a screwdriver, anything you can, just so it fits in here and you can clean all this up. Just to clean up all this soap and mildew that's in here. If you have time, you can soak all the parts of this mechanism and the mechanism itself in a cleaning solution like CLR. That would be a great idea, actually. But we're going to pretend I did that here because I don't want to waste all your time doing that. Okay, we're going to take this other part of the mechanism and we're going to clean it up really quick, too. We're just gonna wrap it here in this uh, sandpaper. Just give it a few spins. Now you will see right in here, there's a groove. It goes up and it goes down. And that's where this little rod slides up and down. It goes like this, up and over and down. This is when it closes, comes around, opens. Closes, opens. So you want this little groove here cleaned up nice too. Don't scrape it too hard. You don't want to put a groove in it. You don't want to put a groove in the groove. <laughs> but you don't want to score it. You know what I mean? Even clean this spring because it's holding grime as well. So we want to clean that spring up. This part here of the mechanism slides inside this mechanism right here. And it slides up and down in here like that. So we want to lubricate this. I'm going to lubricate it with some all-purpose grease. So I have some Quaker State all-purpose grease. We'll just take a little bit of it. And we'll just put a light coating around here. You don't have to put lots. Put a little bit in there, just right in there, here. So we're going to take the bottom part of the mechanism again. We're going to slip the spring in there. And we're going to put this part in here. Like this. We're going to hold it. And we're going to drop the screw in the hole here. And we're just going to snug that screw up a little bit. Now we're going to take this rod Okay, now we're going to put the skinny end of this shaft into the hole. And we're going to catch it onto the inside piston part. And it's caught on now. You'll, you'll know, you'll feel it pull. And then you're going to put this end in here. And then we can put our ring back on. So you put the ring back over the end, and there it should work good now. See, it feels so much better. 
Now at this point we can tighten up this screw all the way. Don't over tighten or anything. And it works just fine. So now you're going to put this back down into your sink. These threads here, this end goes in first. And you screw that down in there, thread it in. And once this is down in your drain, you're going to put your cap back on, snug it up, and it's going to work good for you for some time.